working? Not really. No. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's talk about your reaction to that news last night. What news? No. <laughs> Joking, sorry. Not much going on. Regular <laughs> sorry, day. Sorry. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed for, uh, for the main event, but disappointed for uh, DC. Um, don't know really what, what happened, but I um, feel for DC. Not good. But you're ready to put it on a show, no matter what. Of course, I'm always down to party. <laughs> Number one party guy in the world right here. That's me. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, talk to me about your history in fighting. You go from K1 to Pride to the UFC to now being on this massive UFC 200 card. What does it mean for you and your career? It feels great, especially uh, when I was even one in this company. You know, I didn't even know I, was, I wanted to be a fighter. But I think God put fighting in my life to save my life. And, uh, you know, 26, 27 years later, 20 years at the top of both different sports. Um, you know, I'm here now, so you know, I think it's a blessing. And I, and I always thank God because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's what fighting is what saved my life. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it feels great. Awesome. Absolutely. We're so looking forward to this fight. Um, media, do we have any questions from Mark Hunt? John Morgan, I see you. Mark, uh, it, it looks like you're still actively cutting weight right now. I just wanted to see if you could uh, give us an update on kind of where you are and, and how far you have left to go. Yeah, uh, just uh, got a few more kilos to lose. Too much cheesecake late in the off season, so. <laughs> uh, just uh, nearly there, so not very far to go. I'm um, looking forward to Saturday. It's going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Mark, when people talk about Brock Lesnar, obviously the size is the first thing they bring up. Now, you've been fighting big guys for a long time, but the first time you had a chance to look him face to face, eye to eye, what was your impression of his, his stature? Um, Brock's a big guy. You know, I have a lot of respect for Brock for what he's done with the sport, but um, you know, this is real fighting, and I'm looking forward to uh, dancing with the, with the big man on, on Saturday. I look right into his soul, baby, into his soul. <laughs> And just lastly, you've, you've been a part of a lot of big fights throughout your career, but now to be the main event of USC 200, what is the feeling? Is, it, is there pressure to, to perform after what's happened with all these fans that have come out? Is it excitement to be in such a, a you know, big moment? What, what is the emotion and what is the feeling? It's great for being, uh, for being the second oldest in the UFC. You know, I'm 42. Um, a lot of people are here to watch Brock, but uh, you know, I'm a spoiled party guy. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm looking, really looking forward to Saturday, especially looking forward to something to eat. That'd be nice. So Sunday is really the big day for oh, you. Okay, so, so yeah, Sunday, one of the days. <laughs> so this week. Excellent. Mark, uh, a lot of people obviously saw your fight in Adelaide against Stipe. I'm just wondering, how's this weight cut going compared to that one? Uh, it's a lot better than that one. That one was uh, 11 kilos in one day. Um, this one's way better. I mean, I, I, yeah, I made that mistake against Stipe and I paid for it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's my fault and my call. So I'm only like a few kilos off weight. That's why I'm in my party suit. So And still sweating. Uh, obviously, you had to focus on the weight cut. Did you have much of a chance to uh, work on your wrestling? And who have you been working in terms of wrestling leading into this Brock fight? Uh, can you say again? I didn't hear that. Who have you been working with uh, in terms of your wrestling preparation going to this Brock Lesnar fight for the last few weeks? I've been working with a few of the guys I normally train with, local guys, um, just young guys. Um, the good thing about the guys is just we work in numbers, you know, three on one, four on one. It's, a, it's always a hard ask for anyone to work with four guys, three guys at one time. So um, I work with a group, great group of guys, young guys, and um, you know, I look forward to continuing our venture together in the next couple of years. We have one over here. Hi Mark, uh, we're live from in Mexico and Latin America. It's nice to see you again. You had the chance to fight for the title in Mexico. Do you think that fight was more important than this fight? I think uh, every fight is important for me. I'm um, being at my age. I mean, that was a hard cut, but uh, you know, about those locals forever, Holmes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> yes, <laughs> best wow. movie. I'm just playing. Sorry, too much movies. No, uh, <laughs> this fight's really important. The whole world's watching this fight. Um, it's really good for the Mark Hunt brand because, you know, being at my age, fighting for such a long time, um, you know, I, I, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for Mark Hunt. Uh, yeah, so. And which one easier? I mean, uh, Brock Lesnar or Fabrizio Verdum? We didn't uh, make it with uppercut, but 
the day. Robin, miss you. Hey, man, there's always a story behind, you know, 22 kilograms in three and a half weeks. It's kind of a hard ask, but, uh, you know, I lost that fight, got caught. This one, hopefully, I'm not going to go the same way. So um, this is the most important fight of my life uh, at the moment because it's, um, it's the current one. Any more questions for Mark? Nope. Mark, you were saying the other day you were so excited to see your own face on posters and the co as the co-main event in places like Times Square and here. When you look up here and they've worked through the night to have your face up there, how does that make you feel? Oh, it's um, yeah, well earned. I've worked very hard, taking a lot of beatings and you know, <laughs> taking a lot of work to get up here. But I'm um, here, especially if you're not wanted in this company. But I'm here now, standing, and, and it feels good. It's uh, it's a work in progress. I feel I've, I've accomplished a lot, and um, I'm looking forward to, to Sunday. It's going to be it's going to be another another great news for me. So, <laughs> Mark, sorry if the, you've already been asked this, but uh, in your wildest dreams, could you have ever imagined this scenario? And this fight is, like you said, so big now. You could parlay this into a title shot, couldn't you? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, uh, beating Brock does nothing for my rankings. I mean, it, it, it does everything for the Mark Hunt brand because everyone knows who I am. They wouldn't normally know who I am. A lot of people watching this fight because of Brock. And, you know, it, it's a, I have nothing but good words to say about Brock. Um, nothing but, you know, I've got no ill will until Sunday. All right, I think we're good. Oh, sorry. And no, I wouldn't have imagined it. I didn't even imagine anything like this. Like I said, I didn't even want to be a fighter, so. <laughs> that, is that the question? Sorry. <laughs> He's cutting weight. You know, times are tough. All right, give it up for Mark Hunt one more time. No, you're fine. Mark's opponent will be out in just a few minutes. AL3, will you play us some tunes? Thanks. Thanks.